Coburg said happy affiliate anniversary hello Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, grasshoppers. Yeah, I can't believe it's been three years. Thank you, Fobar. It's insane that it's been three years. And in the first year, I was doing streams twice a day. Insane. Insane. I can't quite imagine what I was thinking. I was doing them at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day. Until COVID ended. And then the 6 p.m. streams became almost impossible due to the commuting to work and trying to get home. And lessons at billiards night. And people stopped coming to the 6 p.m. events Basically, since I wasn't there, I attempted to continue running the events, the training events, but they were achieving very few, very few participants. Is that crazy? We will be doing as much as we can today. I'm hoping to catch up on a few overdue projects that I needed to get done. Coburg said, I will join Townie when my game has finished. That's one way to do it, yeah? Uh-oh. And we're off. 
Trying to fix my grandson's uh, This isn't working. Speed cube. I don't know how to do it. I give up for the most part. Let's just play our game as usual here. We're immediately following it with the world's most influential international master. International Master Daniel Wrench. Can I capture first? No, I lose a piece on that deal. Well, isn't that unusual? Is he pinned? Or is he really going to go for it? Are you going to host a tourney for viewers or not? I am currently hosting a tournament for viewers. It is in the Master Chess Dojo. International Master Daniel Wrench is getting the benefit of the... Uh, benefit of the doubt here. I do want to keep him from castling as best I can. Keep some pressure on the D4 pawn. Return to the scene of trying to prevent castling. Still trying to prevent castling. Two minor pieces for a rock. He has connected his rooks. He has some weak squares on the dark squares. Trying to resist this check. Did look rather enticing. But we always have it. Yeah, after the current one, we are indeed...
So let's see this check, that check. And now for something completely different. Let's see here, rook check. You gods, folks. This is a typical London success story. Toburg said, Oh, and next the follow Master Chess Dojo. No, thank you, Fulberg. Let's give him a quick... Do I want to take the rock, or do I not want to take the rock? What does he have for a threat? Nothing too fancy here. Quick shout out to Foberg, whom I did not realize was a serious streamer of his game. Whoops, until recently. And I'm sorry for the omission, sir. I think a couple weeks back, I definitely noticed as I visited you then, maybe followed you then. Did we come from the well-heeled kick? I'm trying to recall. Toberg said, yes. It's not easy streaming. It feels a lot like you're in some sort of uh, space capsule and you're talking to a console and you're actually quite isolated except for the disembodied voices of the viewers when at least you have TTS enabled as I do. Said. No. No? I don't know. I think I could have wrapped that one up a little bit easier. Let me just see what happened in that game. First things first. D5 was best. 
didn't like my B6 move. My B6 concept, I felt, was like one of the key ingredients. To my success in this. So by move 17, I was practically up a queen. I'm waiting for the rest of these to fill in. So what was that? It was already bad at this stage here. You can tell by the uh, gauge. Okay, this is okay. No, it's not easy playing and streaming indeed. And knight takes d5 escaping would be the easiest way. Knight takes d5, queen a6. And then queen a4. However, now he's down a queen in this position. You imagine by taking the rook, he's down a queen. He goes from negative, he goes from being negative eight, to being negative nine. I knew that number was going to go up. I didn't need to play bishop. Oh, I could have just played c4. Of course, I could have just played c4 and entrenched my bishop on that square. But that would limit all of my movement. All the movement I later got, right? He didn't have to actually move his knight. He lost a tempo with his knight. Bishop a6, and we're right back where we started. I did think about knight a4, but I thought he was going to castle queenside. I didn't want him to castle at all. But I guess on knight b4, castle's queen side, I might have bishop to c4 and another capture on c2. We still have the move, bishop to c4. It wants me to play the move queen a8, which is a hard move to see because of queen e4 check at the end. Let's make sure that we're not playing a game. Uh-oh, we have been playing a game. Let's give him knight c3. We're on a temporary hiatus only for today from GTO. Wow. I always find this entire idea fascinating. Is this what I think it is? Queen takes d4? I'm just taking the extra pawn. I'm not going to go for any funny business with uh, bishop to h6, g6. Hey, watch it. Watch it, sir. He's got to make sure he doesn't take my queen for any particular reason.
Another free pawn. Is it a free pawn? He's got queen. I've got queen a5 and queen a3. Oh, I forgot that I'm low on time. Check, check. Said. Hey, John, great to see ya. Tilburg. Said. May I ask a question? This is not going to be pretty. Is it going to be a knight mate or is it going to be a rook mate? Or is it going to be a queen mate? Looks like it's going to be a rook mate. Oh no, it's not going to be a rook mate. The slow burn. <sighs> Silly me. Whew. That was close. That was very, very close. We'll go back and analyze that one just briefly. Transposing into a French defense. So now the moment of truth. Bishop h6 was better. It does threaten mate immediately. But I kind of liked what I did. Although queen to d5 might have put a little bit of a damper on my, uh, on my attack. It thinks that I'm up almost a piece here. Bishop d3, queen e4, bishop e4. I'm just up a pawn with a massive space advantage. That's part of it. I'm definitely up a pawn because of the space advantage. And I'm up a second pawn because of being up a pawn. And I'm up another pawn because I have two pieces developed and I'm ready to develop a third. And all of these pieces are... So I'm up in space, time, and material in this position. Did I miss a checkmate in that? last bit. Mate in four. So I did miss a checkmate. Rook takes g5. Rook g6.
And I missed queen h6, mate. I was so keen on checkmating with the rook, I just failed to play the simple rook to queen to h6, mate. Bishop d3 check, winning material. With rook h7, queen h6. Queen h7 check. King e8, queen h8. Also picks up a lot of material. And uh, now I've actually relegated myself to a draw if he didn't play king g6. Bishop d3, and he should play king f7. Queen h5 check. Really only thinks that I'm up only so much because I remember I'm down a ruck. Wow. Craziness, everybody. Craziness. Lauren JW, good morning. Sorry for the delay. I was involved in that thought. Really? Apparently my uh, earbuds were not charging properly. I have to make sure that the little symbol is on that they're both charging. Ten seconds between rounds is plenty of time. I do happen to have the day off for my 10th anniversary. We're going to continue to work night C3. E5. Uh, let's see. We're going to go for E5 now. Now we'll play the standard Judith Polgar continuation. What? Do I want to waste a tempo with Bishop E3? I don't think so. You gats, folks. Space advantage time. Can't move my knight. Doesn't have a white squared bishop. The pawn on e7 is hanging. Wow. Now the pawn on d6 is hanging. Takes, 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 takes. I think we still need to keep an eye on the long diagonal. Yes, yes. E5, losing to checkmate. I just need to know where you're going, sir. Are you going there? C5. Knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes.
Yes, yes. We need to throw in that in-between move. This is too much material. Oh, he's taking my rook with Shaq. My God. He does have one check. Fortunately, he doesn't have two checks. Check, 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 check. He's threatening mate. Wow. Mm-hmm. Once again, I am excruciatingly lucky. Once again, I am excruciatingly lucky in my uh, my result because he had so many ways to win. These guys must be very taking it nice to me. Thank you for joining the dojo. Bishop to b4 is not, mate. Oh, no! I touched my queen. Oh, my God. Thanks for I have to avoid being mated. I should have just taken the rook. That was the simplest answer. Check, check, and check, mate. I take there, 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 check. And I'm mated. As well, I should be mated. I don't have a choice. Mate and one? No, not mate and one. Oh my gosh. He's torturing me, folks. <laughs> that was a fitting loss from a winning position. Dizziness due to success. I didn't need to move fast at all. I could have enjoyed that position a little bit more. I should have lost that game earlier, though.
Ay, ay, ay. How bad was that? My rook was hanging with check on d3. I just miscounted the... Uh... I'm up so much material in this position. h4, h5. It's saying that I just have a simple h4, h5. I was concerned about my d4 pawn hanging. So I'm still doing well right up until rook on h to d1. g4 is simple enough. Followed by h, followed by f5. And then I played very strangely. f5, g4 again, preparing f5. And I played c5, which lost a piece. Then I played queen takes f5, which lost a rook with check. And then he took, he sacked his queen, and I didn't take his queen. <laughs> it is pretty obvious to me and Kramnik that we are both cheating. And then I play all these terrible moves, and I'm winning again after king f8. If he plays anywhere else, I am not winning. King h8. He's always got this mate threat. How have you been today, John? And then all I have to do is uh, play f7 check, and that's the move I was going to play, but I forgot I touched my queen. Don't tap, basically. I have to take away tapping. So he's got mate and one. He's got mate and one. And he's got mate and one here too, by the way. Oh, I'm suffering. I have no idea where my rating was to be only at 2108. I've been doing well, thank you. We're still playing the French. Is this our first black of the event? Well, if I knew my opponent was going to play... This is the main line, by the way. Lorenzo said, The French is a great little opening. French is, especially when your opponents play the exchange variation. It's quite priceless. So now we need a minority attack. Now we can't allow you to come forward. And now for something completely different. No rooks to the seventh rank. He didn't go for the isolated pawn. He's trying to go for my d5 pawn, which is not a weakness, by the way. Oh, he has it now. That's somewhat of a bother.
We're going to have a difficult time winning this game, it appears. Quarterback sneak with a fork. Lorenzo said, "What an interesting end game." Quarterback sneak with a fork. I have the wrong colored rook pawn, so let's get rid of the wrong colored rook pawn. Lorenzo said, I wonder what the result would be even with best play. Where is he going? Knight c6? Knight e7? I don't have a choice. Well, that's a bummer. He is taking a pawn. One pass pawn is good. Two pass pawns is awesome. Gods, what a hiccup that game was that I was totally winning. On my third anniversary, he would do that to me. Hang his queen and then not let me take it. Great game, John. Mm hmm That was a rather smooth game. I was very lucky. Should have been a draw. With best play, that should have been a draw. So I've got back one of the half points. Lorenzo. Said, that I gave up. Came close to a draw, but that was a really interesting position. By taking on c4, I gave my king the d5 square, and he did not see that one coming. He could have played knight e3 and kept me out. Knight e3 would have kept me out. Let's flip this one. And we have standard opening, by the way. I believe all of this is main line. Lorenzo said, because his pawn was on a dark square, I wonder if because his pawn was... So what do I do on knight e3? Oh, he has knight f4 check even. That drives me back. Knight f4 check and knight d5. Because his pawn was on a dark square, I wonder if you could have controlled the light square in front of it and then used your knight and bishop to pin down his two pieces. Yeah, probably, but I don't think I can do anything uh, substantial with my, uh, that was a very nice blessing. Andre 71. Lorenzo said, Definitely looks like a draw, but a super interesting position to investigate, perhaps. Yeah, white has a difficult position here. Even at 3 plus 2, white has a difficult position. Kramnik. 06. 91. 06, That means they're about... 
32 years old as of June. 06, 1991. Born June 19th. <coughs> Lorenzo said, What would you say is the difference between a 1900 Blitz 32 vs a 2100 Blitz on Lycus? What a question. The difference between a 1900 Blitz 3 plus 2 versus a 2100 Blitz. I don't think there's any difference at all. Uh, ironically, I think that a 1900 is a 1900, whether it's 3 plus 2 or 3 plus 0. I managed to prove that recently. We're going with Fishers. Fisher's uh, choices here. Yes, E3 was supposed to be played. I'm supposed to play D4, but I don't think I can. I can only play D4. If my opponent plays C4. So let's see here. I do want to fian I do want to hammer his fianchetto bishop. Take away the center pawn. Knock that one. He can take my... And now I have a difficult time defending that. Queen to d6 runs into bishop d3. And e5 is not ready yet. So I'm going to have to barnacle, I'm afraid. Do I take and then put pressure on the d4 pawn? Because he has d5 taking advantage of the pin on the e6 pawn. I guess we just continue to exchange D pawn for E pawn. So now, if we capture, 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 does he have D5? He does have D5. So far, we're one pawn ahead in this entire endeavor. Fascinating. He does have queen g4. Queen to d4. This bishop e6 is an in-between move. We're just going to continue to stay up a pawn. We're staying up a pawn as best we can. Yes, yes. He's getting the peon back, but at what cost? Takes, takes. Takes, takes, takes. Can I hold it with rook d6? He's threatening mate. That will slow me down just a little bit.
Bishops of opposite colors. I don't have a choice, do I? My king is out of the game. He's threatening to threaten. And he's got a rook coming to the seventh rank. Wow, he didn't try for that? That's craziness. My king is not safe. G6 was probably better. Um, I didn't understand that move. Oof. We'll keep him cut off and we'll continue to move our pawn up the board as best we can. So I can't keep his king cut off? Is that the story? Is he outside the square? He is outside the square. Why am I not moving my pawn? One might ask that very nonchalantly. He is not stalemated. <laughs> the pre-move draw. That's worth a TikTok. Content, folks. Content. We're going for content. I am almost that much. I'm very toasted here, by the way. I'm very, very toasted. If he bothered to play like queen to d7, maybe? Maybe bishop to a3? No. I'm definitely in trouble on the e6 square. I did expect knight takes because I'm tied down the queen takes and bishop takes at any given moment. So c3 seems reasonable. Do I also have b takes c takes b3 to stay up upon? I guess I do. But I'm down and I'm down in so much position here.
So why give back the pawn there? What about queen to c8 now? Oh, it's because he has queen g4. So how does this change things? He still has queen to g4. How are you down in position? You've got nice counterplay vs e6 pawn. No, I'm black, silly. I was black in this game, remember? He's got the nice counterplay versus the e6 pawn. That draw cost me. I don't even know who that was against. I revise my statement, haha. I slime myself. Let us go back and we're going to start the Daniel Wrench. And we have to open up the other one. I almost forgot. I'm going to do the code on uh, take away the code here said my tournament went well today performed about even in the under 2000 blitz Forty three ninety nine. Are we going to make forty four hundred? Copy. Message all members. Let's go back for a moment so that we can add that. To our everyone. We'll put it in the discord. And we'll change our stream title as well. And we'll uh, disconnect the stream and reconnect the stream in one second as well. So that we'll have two separate streams. Let's do that real quick for any new followers, Shiksa and Praveen. We're going to restart the stream, folks. Please bear with us as we do.